so that also so so the, so the color to it. the colors were done with natural pigments. So, um, but couldn't it have been a hundred years old and still done with natural pigments? Certainly. So, how young could it be, in or and, and still be with natural pigments? Could Yesterday. it be fifty? Okay, so then, then what did you learn by the fact that it was natural? What does natural pigments tell us? It, it tells you that it was uh, handmade. <laughs> it's, not, it's not commercially produced today with aniline dyes. That, that, once and, you eliminate that... How did you know it was natural pigments? You can tell by the, the examining it with a loop. You can see some, in some cases the, uh, the yellow pigment was on top of the fiber. It hadn't penetrated. Uh -huh. So that's one. And so if it stays on top of the fiber, that tends to make one think it's, it's natural. Sure. Where if it had been artificial, it would have gone into the fiber? It would have been all the way through the fiber. It would have been all the way through. Now, what is well, there yeah, makes, What is there about the... You make modern fabric today, you, you make yellow. Now, Suki, you, you think that this is not the case. Is that right? I, I just think that's just not the... I just don't want to be misquoted. I just, I, I just don't think that's the only way to indicate it. Well, what is, the, what is the other way? I'm trying to think. A natural fiber. And that natural, no, no, natural pigmentation. Oh, I, I, yes. natural pigmentation. Well, that's well, the yeah. only thing I said was that the colors if were. If you were to put that next to any other modern yes. thing, you, it would be very obvious. That's not the way I like to do things. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we know. <laughs> that's not really. That doesn't really tell me what anything. What I meant was that the number of colors, uh -huh. the, the palette. Uh -huh. is what would have been available to those people at that time. So it was, so a, limit, was, so it was a limited number of colors right. yes. that, back then. Yeah. But what about the stain on top of the fiber as opposed to penetrating the fiber? Is that something that natural pigment does not penetrate where the artificial stuff does? Not oh, yeah. So we have a contra It depends on the pigment. And the process. And how wet it is. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You can soak that's, through that's and be like authenticated. It depends on it depends on what the pigment is because the pigment uh, I imagine that, that wool has a different solubility for some pigments than it does for others. With artificial pigment not can you have artificial pigment that would not penetrate the fiber? Yes, you can have fibers that won't accept another color. So what did so we really what did we really learn here? What 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 was the undisputable thing that we had learned that we really know for a fact when you saw in your loop and you looked at the pigment? What what do you really know? I made a critical assumption. A critical a assumption. Critical assumption. That Suki, that That's Suki, right. that Suki is down, down no, no, under, no. on her but deathbed will say no. My assumption is that it was wool. Definitive. That's all. Okay. My, my so this, this, suggests, this, suggests this suggests wool. This suggests yeah. something, right. but it is not yeah. definitive. Yeah, I do. I know because it needs to. Okay. <laughs> well, we good. We have Suki here yeah. to uh, put things into into perspective here. I just felt like. Anything, you know, well, Suki, is there anything? Is there anything that you think is? The, is there any absolute in your entire life? Yes. Well, I can hear the silence here. Yes, I think it I'll, has. It doesn't actually. <laughs>